Hello, my name is Paul Boag and today I want to talk to you about the copy on your landing pages because the way that people are reading online is changing and we need to update. Fortunately, there are AI tools that can help as I'm going to show you in this video. The reason that I'm talking about this subject now is because of a conversion benchmark report released by Unbounce. If you haven't come across Unbounce, they've hosted literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of landing pages. And so they've got detailed data on what enables conversion and what causes problems. Now they cover a whole load of areas in this particular report, but the one area that stood out to me was about the use of complex language, about the reading level of your copy and how that has a direct impact on the conversion rate of your website. And in particular, they said there is a strong correlation between the reading difficulty level and your conversion rate. Put another way, if your conversion rate is low, it might be your copy that's causing problems and it might be that it's just too difficult to read. Now, look at this chart from their benchmark report as this perfectly demonstrates the point. If you're writing at a professional level, your average conversion rate, according to Unbounce's uh, benchmarks, is going to be about 5.5%. But if you reduce that all the way down to a seventh grade reading level, you're going to be looking at a conversion rate nearer 11%. That is so powerful. Effectively, what that means is that your landing page, if it is written at fifth to seventh grade level, will convert twice the rate of your professional level writing. And I've always said that you want to aim for ninth grade or below. But even that, even if you just drop down from ninth grade to seventh grade, it will make a big difference on your conversion rate. This is a really simple, easy way for you to improve the conversion rate of your landing pages. Now, you might be saying to yourself, but I've got a specialised audience that, that is highly technical. You might be aiming at healthcare professionals or insurance people or technical people and that they have this kind of complex language that they use that you need to represent on the landing page. But in many circumstances, that is not a great idea. That actually you want to keep the language as simple as possible, whether or not you're working with a specialist audience. And there are four reasons for this. First, some of your audience are going to be new to the sector. So some of them won't necessarily know all the terminology or all the jargon that relates to your particular sector. And so when you use that kind of language, you immediately, immediately alienate yourself to those new people and those new audiences you're trying to reach. Second, there will be some people within your audience who are neurodivergent. They might be Asperger's, they might be autistic, they might be dyslexic or any other number of things. Now, they're still highly capable individuals, but they may struggle with more complex um, copy. And so you want to keep that language simple so that they can process it quickly and easily. They might also be reading in their second language. It might be that they don't speak English natively. It's their second language. And so if your copy is in English, they're going to find it slightly harder to read. Are you really willing to get rid of that entire worldwide audience and just focus on English speakers? And then finally, and this applies to absolutely everybody when they're using the web, they could well be distracted. If you're not giving something your full attention, you're going to find it harder to process that copy. You're going to retain less of the information and your conversion rate is going to go down. So really, I don't care how specialised your audience is, the chances are you want to keep your copy as simple and clear as possible. So how do you go about fixing the problem? So we know we need simple language, but making our language simple is easier said than done. Fortunately, this is where AI is really good and can help us out. Let's take, for example, the homepage for CXL. On their homepage, they've got a little piece of copy here um, about on-demand marketing training, which is what CXL offer. So if we took that copy and go, went, right, 
Do we need to simplify it? Is it simple enough already? How do we know? Well, there's a great tool that's free to use called Hemingway Editor. And if we take that copy and we pop it into Hemingway Editor, we find that its reading level is 15. Now that's way too high based on what we've um, heard earlier. So by popping it into Hemingway Editor, we can instantly see how complicated it is. And that basically it's one very hard to read sentence that's too much for people to pass quickly. So what can we do about it? Well, if you've upgraded to their pro account, which it doesn't cost very much at all, it actually provides you with AI tools that allow you to simplify and clarify that language. So you simply select the text that you want to change, click the simplify and clarify button, and it will then immediately make a suggestion. And the suggestion that it's come up with reduces it from uh, grade 15 down to grade nine. Now that's gonna have a significant impact on your conversion rate. Now, obviously you don't need to use Hemingway Editor for this. You could equally use ChatGPT or Claude or whatever AI platform you want, as long as you ask it to reduce the reading level down as low as possible while still keeping uh, the meaning. But I do find Hemingway app is exceptionally good at doing this. So you may want to check it out. It's good at, for example, splitting things into multiple sentences, removing adjectives um, and any other things that might complicate the sentence like um, conjunctions, for example. Once you've done that, you're halfway there because that was not the whole story about what Unbounce's um, conversion benchmark said regarding copy. The other thing that it said is lengthy copy and long reading time can harm conversion rate too. And although it's not as high impact as the complexity of the wording, it does demonstrate that the length of your copy and how long it takes someone to read that copy does have a significant impact. So what can we do about that? Well, what we need to do in this situation is not necessarily shorten our copy, but aid scannability, allow people to more easily scan copy very quickly to get the gist of it without reading every word. After all, the average person only reads between 20 and 28% of the content on a website. And you can do that using content blocks. Content blocks are basically what most landing pages are made up of. And they consist of a heading, a short summary, and potentially a link to more information or an image to draw attention to the content block. The heading typically is just two to three words. The summary is normally about 160 characters or less. That's really all you can expect people to read in one go. So let me give you an example. This again is pulled from the CXL website. And as you can see, they've used content blocks here. So you can see on the left-hand side, a title maybe running a little bit long, but then a short description underneath and they've used bullet points, which is an excellent decision. And they've got an associated image to draw attention and to explain a little bit more. So how do you take your copy and turn it into content blocks? Well, again, AI can help with this one. So if we take another page from the CXL website where there's quite a lot of copy all in one big block like this, how do we make that more scannable by turning that copy into content blocks? Well, if we open up any AI tool of our choice, in this particular example, I'm using Claude, and enter a prompt something like, take the following copy and identify three topics. Depending on the length of the copy, you might want more or less topics. For each topic, write a headline of no more than three words. Then using the copy supplied, write a short supporting statement of no more than 160 characters. And then what I've done is I've pasted in the copy that I took from the CXL website. And what that produces, is content blocks, headings, short chunks of text that makes the whole thing much easier to scan and much easier to process fast. So what I recommend for you is that you go away and look at your landing pages now and do two things. First, check your reading level. Make sure that it's at least ninth grade, ideally seventh grade, all right? Second, break that copy into content blocks so that it's easier to scan and easier for people to process. If you do those two things, 
I promise your conversion rate will go up.